Roscoe, 1-1 one, one draw against South Park here at the Iconic. Just describe it from your point of view. Yeah, I was, listen, really, really proud of the, uh, the team tonight. Um, they've put in a proper shift on, you know, a, a soft pitch and they've executed the information I've asked, asked them to deliver tonight. Um, you know, and I, I genuinely believe that, you know, with the performance that we put in, I think we've, we're coming away with a point, which is really positive. But, you know, I think three points could have come our way had some decisions by the referee been a little bit different. It's kind of funny how sort of last game of play was actually against them at their place. And you sort of said it's probably one of the first times that we've come away with a defeat and deserve to lose. So how proud of you then of the response of the boys sort of two yeah, weeks later? Yeah, I mean, it's mad in the context of like we've not played a game for sort of three weeks. Um, so actually to get the game on was really, really good. Um, and, you know, in, as I said, I think that in, in, the, in the grand scheme of the last performance that we played at their place, um, you know, I, I, I felt our team had more in them. And, and I'm really, really pleased that they have bought that tonight. Um, and even some of the positive conversation I'm having with their management team after, um, they knew they were in a game tonight. And, uh, you know, had we not gone down to 10 men, you know, I, I think I'd be stood here right now talking to you about three points rather than the one. It was a difficult first half for both teams to really create their chances, but Turn the off. second yeah. half, it was, you know, much better. You know, we were, we were on it straight away. And obviously when you go down to 10, the fight with the boys is still there. How sort of... How can that performance sort of build us then for the rest of the season? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, in these interviews, I've spoken to you a lot about personality and character. And I'm hoping the, the people that have come tonight have, and even, you know, that have been to see a lot of the games are now starting to see that fight. Um, the, 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 Binfield, the Binfield way, right? This is, what, this is what Binfield is all about. And for me to see the guys competing and fighting and scrapping and, and we'll continue to do that. And I think, um, you know, as long as we, we stay on the front foot um, and again, pick up points, keep moving forward, I still believe that this club and, and, and what we've got going right now can, can we can create something. Just finally, no matter what the result would have been tonight, one of the big things and great stories to see is Tyler back on the football pitch, back starting for us. Just how great is it to see him back on the pitch in those colours again? Yeah, and, and I'm always looking for these one or two percents before the game. And, you know, the fact that, you know, the doctors have, have given him some, given him the clear to, to come back to the game. And, you know, and I thought tonight he was spirited, he, he competed. And, you know, he, for me, that is a real story, success story, regardless of what happens between now and the end of the season. You know, the fact that he's back putting a Binfield shirt on and performing the way he is, it, you know, he's just a monster. He's a complete animal of a human being. And, you know, and, and, and obviously I'm really proud of the way that Binfield as a club have looked after him as well. Um, and I'm proud that, you know, we will continue to look after him, you know, in the coming games and weeks.